Hi guys! In this video, I've teamed up with Filmora, the editing software that I use to make my videos, to show you step-by-step -step how to edit great-looking YouTube videos. It's a free download and there are some extra features that are for purchase on their website, but I will put all the info in the description box down below. I've mentioned many times before on my channel how much I recommend starting your own YouTube channel. It's a great way to express your passions, creativity, and ideas with the world. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to open up Filmora using the icon on my desktop here, and I'm going to select the best size for creating YouTube videos. Now I'm going to drag my video clips that I filmed this morning, which are on my desktop, into this main area here. Okay, now I'm going to take the clip that I want to show up first in the video and drag it into this work area. And I'm going to drag it into the section that has the little film reel icon. This area is where all the editing takes place and where you can crop and adjust everything to your liking. Next, I'm going to show you how to add music to your video. Filmora comes with a selection of songs, so I'm just going to choose one of them for this sample video that I'm making. I'm going to drag the song into the area that has the little music symbol. You can also crop the song if you only want to use part of it. And you can add your own music as well by dragging an audio file from your computer to this area. Next, I'm going to show you how to control the volume. I'm going to make the music a bit lower. I'm going to adjust it to 50%. And you can also change other things like the pitch and fade in and fade out a few seconds before the song starts and ends. I do that a lot in my videos. It makes it so that when your video starts, the music gradually begins. Next, we're going to open up the video inspector by clicking into the clip itself. I'm going to mute the sound of the actual footage because there was some noise in the background and I want the music to be the only thing that you can hear. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to record audio for a voiceover, which is perfect for a tutorial like the one you're watching right now. It's really easy to do. You can watch the video you've created playing back and speak over the parts you want your voice recorded over. Next, I'm going to show you how you can add some text to your video. This program has a ton of moving text features that I really like and that I've been using a lot in my videos lately. Okay, so I've chosen a text that I like and I'm going to drag it into the text area here and change the words to Beckham and center it. Now I'm going to play it back and just check that I like how it looks. There are also a lot of lower thirds which you can add to your video. These are great for descriptions. I'm going to choose this one here and add it to the video clip. As you can see on the left, there are a lot of ways to customize the text, such as changing the color, the outline, the boldness, etc. Okay, now I'm going to play it back and show you how it looks. And here's another example of the types of moving fonts you can use. This one has a handwritten look. Okay, now we're going to add in our second video clip. So I'm going to drag and drop it into the video section and mute this one as well.
Between video clips, you can add transitions, and there are a ton to choose from depending on what look you want to create in your video. I'm going to choose a couple of them just to give you an idea of what it looks like. If the clip itself is too long, you can crop it at the beginning or the end. You can also remove a section from the middle of the clip by using the split function like I'm doing here. It's cutting the video clip into two segments so that you can trim some away from the middle of the video clip. Now I'm going to show you how to make the video go in slow motion. Click into the clip and you can adjust the speed here. And as you see, it gives this effect of Becca moving in slow motion. This works well if you're using a slower song in your video and you want to create a slowed down, more dramatic effect. Since Beckham is kind of far away from the camera, I can zoom in by using the crop function. Now I'm going to add some text to this clip of the video. And make sure to align it so that it looks centered. You can also adjust the text based on how long you want it to appear in the video. Next, I'm going to show you some cool filters that you can overlay onto your video clips. I love that everything is drag and drop. It makes it really easy to test out different things and see which you prefer. If you want to add a still image like these arrows I'm using in this video, you can find them here. In the video inspector, you can change the brightness of the video and make some other changes to the look of your video. There's also this power tool where you can add a mosaic effect to your video and make a lot of other adjustments. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a screen recording, which is the type of video this is. It's great for tutorials. Just click this record button and what you are doing on your screen will be recorded. Now I'm going to click back into the video inspector to show you how to make your video clips play in reverse. So we'll be able to see Beckham running backwards. Next I'm going to show you how to create a picture in picture effect for your video. This is great if you want to make a reaction video on YouTube. Essentially you can film yourself describing something that is playing simultaneously in the video.
I'm going to use the picture in picture effect for this part of the sample video. You can also add moving images to your video, like this balloon here. And there are so many different ones to choose from. Alright, here's a little sample video I made from the clips.